Hey guys, Dwayne here. I just wanted to let you know I got the leather for my knife sheath for the BK7. This is three inches wide and it's about four feet long, which is a little more than I need, but that's how you gotta buy it. Alright. So I got the leather. I got the rivets. I had to buy a hundred rivets, even though I'm sure I only need about twenty. Alright. Um so leather, rivets, rivet setter tool, and a little anvil. Um, these are both concave on one end. So you uh, put the rivet in there, put this on top, whack it with a wooden hammer, and it squishes the rivet to hold the leather together. All right. I don't know why, but on most of the leather working videos I've seen they use a wooden hammer for hitting the tool all right not sure why um, but I had I had the wood I had the glue so I just made one didn't cost me anything all right so there you go still waiting for the hole punches and that's really all I'm waiting for when I get those I'll start making the sheath and I will probably, I will, I will video part of it and uh, insert pictures. That's how I plan to do it. All right. So stand by for more. Hey guys, I'm back. I just got back from the mailbox. I got my set of leather hole punches. All right. There's six different sizes here. Uh, something I wanted to point out to you is I'm trying to do this inexpensively. Um, this is a cheap set. It was six dollars and twenty-four cents for, including shipping, for all six hole leather hole punches. All right. I really only need the smallest one, I think. All right. But um, just buying them one at a time, it was close to five bucks per punch all right so for an extra dollar I got all these sizes all right so that's something to consider if you're getting into uh, well any hobby really uh, look at look at the options what are your options all right I'm trying to do this cheaply because I really just want to make one sheath for the BK7 all right I'm not really intending to start a new hobby a leather sheath making hobby although i am thinking about making a belt <laughs> but anyway so i got the hole punches that was that's the last thing i was waiting for now i can start designing the sheath oh yeah here we go stand by Hey guys, okay, so this is where we're at. I have cut both pieces of leather. This is the front of the sheath. This is the back piece. All right. Oh, first let me point out, I'm using this sheath as a, basically as a template, except it's the wrong size, but I love this style with the rivets, the wide belt loop, and this sheath has <laughs> stood the test of time for many, many, many years. All right. Um, there's a couple of things I'm I want to change, but I'm not sure at this point <laughs> if I if I'm going to be able to do it. All right. See, see how this the belt loop is this one piece goes around and passes right here. All right. Very strong, very efficient, very utilitarian, and it works well. 
you notice when the knife goes in, over time the leather has formed, has shaped itself, all right, as necessary. Not ideal, all right, but it works, all right. Also, the hole for the lanyard is just a hole through the leather. A metal grommet would be better, um, but psh, I have to buy a hundred of them, so I don't know if that's going to happen. Anyway, anyway, so with this one, I have cut it the same, um, and then I realized the handle is thicker here, all right? So, having this piece go more like this will actually work better. Well, actually, something like that. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, yeah, and there should still be room for my military web belt to go through that loop. All right, so right now that's the only change I'm making uh, if I can get a deal on just a few metal grommets then I will otherwise you know a hole through the leather is not uh, is not as strong as it could be but actually it's been working for a long long time and the leather of this sheath seems to be thicker all right, this is seven slash eight thickness, and this one I'm pretty sure is the next the next thinner stuff. All right, um, yeah. So it is progressing. Um, gonna watch a few more videos. I'm I'm taking my time. I'm watching videos. I'm getting ideas. Uh, but I think. We're about ready to start punching holes and putting in the rivets. <laughs> All right. Here we go.